Colombia's Latino Alliance organization took over the streets of the South Loop to celebrate the traditional Latino holiday of the Day of the Dead. The event featured face painting, masks, costumes and altars to remember and honor those who have passed away. Um, we're going to have a parade and I'm basically La Catrina who was like, you know, the princess, or not princess, but she was like in charge, like, you know, the woman of like the dead. So I'm The Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos festivities is a tradition for Colombia and the organization. Vice President for Latino Alliance, Marco Rosa, says this year marks the biggest celebration. This year we decided to make it a little bigger with our procession, uh, joining with different departments such as Spectacle, Res Life, uh, reaching out to the community, uh, to a more refreshment center, uh, we have <clears throat> a di we have members that teach classes which are going to bring their students. Um, we have multicultural affairs involved, the admissions department involved in our celebration. So it's a lot larger scale than we usually do. Uh, we do have we do have to get a permit for this to have actually have this many people. So we have the Chicago police involved escorting us down Wabash Street. So it's a lot bigger. It's a lot more meaningful, and we're just trying to spread the culture and show the awareness here on campus and throughout the city to the other communities. This is Latino Alliance's fifth year celebrating the Day of the Dead event, and this is bigger than ever. You got college students, high school students here marching down Wabash and onto Michigan Avenue. After the procession, Mexican food and refreshments were served, and the audience enjoyed performances from a live mariachi band and baile flocorico. Next year, the organization hopes to make it as big as it was and to grow more awareness of the Hispanic holiday. This event just for the fact of keeping not in touch, you know, keeping in touch with our roots and teaching younger generations that have never experienced or haven't gone to Mexico to see something like this. It's not an identical one, but it's a Columbia College one and our that we kind of came up with our own. Reporting for the Columbia Chronicle, this is Cristina Aguirre.